Holy moly, what are those? They're flying everywhere. In the beginning of the spring, I stepped out of my house and all these flies with long legs and long wings. They look like mosquitoes. What are they? Crane flies. That's right, guys. Crane flies are taking over the U.S. for the springtime. If you have grass or any landscape outside your home, you know, they like grass. They love eating the foliage. They crane flies are no comparison to mosquitoes. Crane flies are not harmful, you guys. Crane flies don't even bite. They don't even sting. So humans, livestock, or pests, you guys don't have nothing to, to worry about. They can be annoying when flying everywhere in your face at outside gatherings. Irritating little creatures. No one wants a bug or a fly of any sorts all in your face, all in your area, all in your space. These things are despicable. They become major problems with people trying to grow their grass, trying to grow their lawn, people at golf courses trying to hit a hole in one. Next thing you know, you got one of these critters, one of these insects flying about all in your face, all in your face, all in your space. Once again, these crane flies do not bite. They don't even suck on blood. Let me give you some few facts about these crane flies that you can take heed about. Crane flies are important, important to our soil, the ecosystem of our soil. Crane flies are important to the ecosystem of our earth soil as they process organic material. They are both in the larva stage and as adults, valuable food for many animals, including insects, spiders, fish, frogs, toads, birds and some other mammals now and even my dog noticed these crane flies as we are outside walking around and in our front yard but don't worry people crane flies are not harmful to your dog they're not harmful to humans and they're not harmful to pets or any other insects in fact their sole purpose is to mate and lay eggs mate and lay eggs adult crane flies are attracted to light so don't leave your doors open don't leave your screen door open. Don't leave any access open to your home. If, if you have lights on in your home, they will find a way in and terrorize you. <laughs> no, these guys, they're friendly. But just the fact of something flying around in your home that you can't control will drive you crazy. So keep your doors closed. And you can always protect yourself by spraying such thing as lemon, cinnamon, centronella, things that bugs and insects hate. You know, this will deter them. You know, you can put some on the front entrance of your home, back entrance of your home, you know, window seals, you know, anywhere they can gain access to your home. Protect yourself. Like other flies, the crane fly undergoes complete metamorphosis with four distinct stages. The egg stage, the larva stage, the pupa, and the adult stage. A female crane fly lays up to 300 eggs in the ground. The eggs hatch within two weeks of being deposited in the ground. Once the larvae hatch, the larvae feeds on vegetation decaying wood and turf and may cause damage to plant roots in large concentrations. The larvae of a crane fly goes through four developmental stages and each stage are called instars. Typically, typically larvae flies hibernate underground before the larvae structure breaks down during mid to late spring. Just below the soil surface, the adult crane fly emerges. They leave behind their pupa, their shell. Now, adult crane flies only live for several days, typically long enough to mate and reproduce and drive us humans crazy.